It's the beginning of a vlog I think I started it yesterday I'm not too sure hi everybody uh, I'm actually preparing to cook and it's something past three right now I really don't know what I'm gonna cook I know what I'm gonna I'm, I'm placing everything in the oven let's put it that way I'm placing everything in the oven and I'm going to hope for the best because one this is my oil situation can you see it <laughs> So I'm going to use the oil for the veggies that I'm going to chop up and, and put in here because I'm just literally cooking for one and it's just for tonight and uh, meat I am going I've got pork here hi are you subscribed sorry it's a new video it's been a long day my red lipstick is pretty much gone from my it's just it's a lot, it's a lot. I'm cooking early because the power is going at 6, so I need to eat at around 5.30, and I'll, I'll be quite satiated until tomorrow, but I, I do need to eat. So I've got a bit of pork here. So because I don't have enough oil, I really wanted to kind of like uh, do like a fried pork kind of situation, but in the, in, the, in the oven. Because I don't have enough oil, I'm going to douse the pork. I'm going to wash it and then douse it with this, um, the diced tomatoes with garlic I don't know what's gonna come of this meal all I do know is that I need to eat and I've only had two hot cross buns today it's already th with a cup of coffee and it's already three o'clock and um, I had that about an hour ago so I, I need to ingest something I could order but I don't feel like it I don't and in terms of the veggies I've got pumpkin cubes some green baby marrows and some green beans obviously not going to use all of them but it's something okay and then maybe i might just do a little bit of couscous on the side i don't know we'll just see how everything goes okay that's that's it I'm gonna season it a little bit with some pepper i'm gonna throw it in the oven and hope for the best this could turn out really badly <laughs> enough hi as you can see I am cooking something <laughs> as you can see I'm cooking something something which I do not know what it is uh, my darling so we're gonna have our kadi language is aruna kuru uno wako panza that it's me um, but at this point I'm tired of this phase and I need to 
get it off ASAP. ASAP. Um, tomorrow is Friday, and typically on Fridays, I go over to Diesel's place um, to visit for the weekend, and I typically come back on Monday. So that's what's happening tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I've got a couple of errands to run. Uh, I'll have to ask Kanye if she's in today, tomorrow, so that she can do my brows. And then I need to go pick up the workbooks from the printers. And then one or two other things. Let's head on out. You, Luna, last time I saw you, Sanandip, Makutuman. I think if you're not South African, I implore you, implore, I implore you to just find out what's going on in the South African news currently. We have our own very own, we have our own very own, we have our very own Bonnie and Clyde in South Africa. Githabo or Cabo, I don't know how you say it really in life, but Tabo Bester and Dr. Nandipa Makutumana. Now, Dr. Nandipa is a very well-known celebrity um, esthetician you know she does facials and things like that cosmetic surgeries and things like that and uh, I think at some point somebody DM'd me no not DM'd me tweeted me and when the story broke and they were like is this your Dr. Nandi that you go to no I don't go to that Dr. Nandi but yo is her and Tabo Bester embroiled in a whole entire scandal my darling so today was the day where she landed i was up lena i was up at four o'clock in the morning i was up at four o'clock in the morning following the story on the news and also following what people were saying on twitter and my darling wow Dr. Nadi. basically she was expatriated her and mr Tabo Bester were expatriated back to South Africa this morning at around four o'clock and she appeared in court not too long ago, about two hours ago. Um, and then next week, Monday, her, Cabo, not Cabo, I don't think Tabo will appear, but her and three other accused, including her father, are appearing on court on Monday, in court on Monday. And basically, she's just known for aiding and abetting a you know a a a, a, a serial murderer and rapist Tabo Bester yeah and Tabo kind of escaped prison it's literally a Netflix documentary it's so crazy it's got the country in a chokehold but it's so good it's so good and uh, when I saw her in the court I mean she, this doctor had things like smelling nice down here <laughs> this doctor had things like she did she had money lot doctor okay and then then we found out you know ah, guys stop following people you think oh this person's nice they're making money next thing is, is got that money it's coming from shady places hmm? at some point hmm, there's corpses involved oh hey guys oh I don't know what happened there. Hey chaps, it's, uh, I'm just leaving breakfast with my sister. It's actually quarter to one. I'm on my way home because I need to go pick up a, my bag because I'm meeting with my brother for a late lunch. Ooh, ooh, sir, sir. I'm meeting my brother for a late lunch. Um, oh, my hair looks terrible. For a late lunch on the other side of town um, this afternoon at four. So 
I need to make my way there. Uh, 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 no, I need to go to my house now, finish packing, and then make my way that side of town for the weekend. And then, might potentially meet my dad before I leave the side. I don't know as yet. Um, I went and I picked up the workbooks. The workbooks that have been ordered for the pre-order. Just so so happy my sister ah uh -uh, let's not crash into me just because you can't stop at a four-way stop hey eh? please let's do let's not do that um so my sister i just gave my sister her copy this morning she also purchased the baby so uh the support is wonderful the support is wonderful from my mates it, it really it, ugh, and my family i really do appreciate it um so yeah now i'm just heading home nothing hectic uh, and I'm gonna finish packing up nothing new it's just gonna be a weekend of really just relaxing I try to do that over the weekends I'm very very particular about actually resting over the weekends uh, yes and there's also something else where I've been invited to speak at uh two events which it's just you know i'm i'm invited to speak but i'm being paid for it as well and it's just it's wonderful and this one we're still talking through it but it's outside of johannesburg and it's just like you know they're providing accommodation transport all of that kind of stuff it's just amazing like i feel like you know even with my I need to come this side. Even with my speaking engagements and all of that, it's it's stuff that I'm supposed to be speaking about, you know? Uh, speaking to young people about mental health, speaking to young people about, you know, c careers and all of that. Like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. The purpose is to rest this weekend. The purpose is to rest every weekend. Unless it's a weekend where I'm working or it's a weekend where I'm at its rest every weekend. Uh, we've also got some clients with Life by Design uh, and I've got two sessions next week. It's just, I'm basking in gratitude. I'm basking in humility. I'm basking in, uh, you know, just being thankful and how God has just, he's just showing me his grace right now. And he's showing me his grace with things that make my heart smile. And for me, that's everything. It's everything. I ain't even finna lie. chaps <laughs> how are ya today gents it's not the day mm. Mm -hmm. today was a hard day and as you know I have these moments from time to time where we just chill and we chat and unfortunately, it's that time again. And now, it's different this time around. Hi, chaps. Uh, I really don't know where this vlog is, what's going on with it, where it's gonna be. Um, but I'm, I'm not in the best place today. Mentally, I'm in a... I kind of think I knew that... There was a part of me that knew 
something that's gonna just make me go oh, is gonna come and it came <laughs> and it came today um I've had this chat on my channel before and it seems like we're back here again. Um, so over the last couple of weeks, I've been in such great spirits, you know, with, with Life by Design, with everything, you know, the workbook sales, the new clients and all of that. I've been in such great spirits and I'm thankful for that. Um, however, when it comes to this platform here, the Red App, I haven't been in the best spirits. Um, I find myself not wanting to record anymore. I feel like it takes a lot out of my mental space, a lot of my mental capacity to put myself in a position where I want to record. I am excited to record. I'm looking forward to it. Um, nowadays, I would just rather go to work, come home, work on Life by Design stuff, take my clients, do my coaching sessions, blah, 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 answer emails, do all those other things, except switch the camera on for YouTube. And it's not coming out of nowhere. Over the past month or two, I've been looking at my stats and analytics for YouTube. And they're not great chaps. <laughs> and I know it's something that none of us can control. I can't control how many of you guys are going to watch my videos. I can't control whether you like the video or not. I don't want to have power over that kind of thing. I don't want to have control over that kind of thing. It's not for me to want to have control over. And I understand that. Um, but... My stats have kind of been the worst in the last two to three months. Worse than they've really truly ever been in quite a while. Ah, there goes the power. And uh, I just don't know what it could be anymore. Um, because the rate in which I am uploading content is still the same. I still upload twice or three times a week dependent on whether it's the week where we have a video for the members or what have you. So my consistency, it's untouchable. I know that I'm very, very good in terms of consistency and I've always made that a point for myself. But my views and, and my numbers truly aren't where they should be or where I'd like them to be. And as much as I don't have control over that, it just gets sad after some time. You know, you can sit and be like, oh, well, it's fine. Things will pick up. Hey, this, hey, this, hey, this. But it really does take a lot out of my time, energy to film and record content. And it's so disappointing to see the numbers um, and truly it's just so disappointing to see a paycheck at the end of the month that is just like really <laughs> um, and I know it's not because of any of you guys watching here um, I do know however I see that a lot of people who are not subscribed to my channel they watch they don't subscribe they don't like the numbers just don't add up with the amount of people who watch and the likes. And I'm starting to think for my, to myself, is it really worth it anymore? Um, could I just be spending most of my time just going to my job, working on my side hustles, pushing my business and all of that, and just give this an indefinite break? Um... I've actually been crying all day about this. So I think I'm at that point in the day where my tears are just like, ah, ah enough, <laughs> enough. Um, so I ain't got no more tears left in me. I ain't got nothing. 
I don't know, chaps. Um, to be honest, had it not been for the members, of which are also kind of dwindling, I started off with a very strong and healthy amount of members in my uh, membership space. And it's been going down gradually, not considerably, but gradually. And if it wasn't for my members, truly, I would have stopped. Because a large chunk of the views, ah, a large chunk of the salary that I get from YouTube salary, stipend more like, that I get from YouTube at the end of the month is due to my members, a large chunk of it. Um, so I'm at that point where I'm just really starting to wonder, is it worth it for me? I don't know if it is. Um, and it hurts me to say that because I love doing YouTube. I love sharing my life. I love sharing, you know, those little golden nuggets and words of, words of wisdom and all of that. I really love doing that stuff. But I'm not going to share things up. I'm not going to share something or someone that I'm not. I'm not going to conform to seeing or making it come across as if I've got this lavish lifestyle and I'm going out all the time and buying things galore and doing trips and traveling and whatever. I don't do that. If I wanted to, I would. I just don't do it. It's not an issue of, um, I can, I, I would love to, but I can't. I can do it if I wanted to, but it's not who I am. I wanted this space to be a space where even the introverts, even the people who just have a simple day-to-day -day life, nine to five, go to work, come home, cook, go to school, come home, cook, have that really small group of friends, go out here and there, keep to yourself, whatever, to have a space and a corner on the internet where they have someone that they can identify with. And so the only downside with that is that it's not going to be, I never ever, the best in terms of views and numbers. I would love to share more about my personal life and whatever. I would have loved to do that, but it's just not who I am. I love to keep certain parts of my life private. I love to keep certain trips that I do off the, the, the internet I love, and, and away from my socials and all of that. But at the same time, I do also want to share little bits and pieces of who I am. But now, I just don't see the point of it anymore. Um, there's no YouTuber who's going to come at you and say, oh, I'm, I'm really just doing this because I love it only. Nah, buddy. <laughs> They'd be lying. There's also a monetary compensation for it, which keeps a lot of us doing it. Um, but when you do it, and you do it at the consistency that I do it, and I don't feel ashamed or feel bad at the fact that I, uh, that I can actually say I'm very consistent in YouTube. And uh, if you do it at the consistency and pace that I do it, and that I've kept it for, ooh, for however many years, it just doesn't make any sense when that stipend comes at the end of the month and you're just like, really? Why am I doing this? <laughs> you know, I could be focusing on my other things in life, you know, that are <sighs> making me successful in my own right and, and making it worth it. Doing YouTube now, I do it because I like it, but not because I feel like it's worth it anymore. That's my alarm. Give me a second. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Maybe I might be back a little bit later when I'm in my bedroom. Maybe let me try and calm down a little bit. Maybe I might come back actually in a little bit. I want to take a 5-10 minute break. 
might come back in a little bit to tell you what I've been reading. I've read quite a lot. Uh, I read the Spy Family manga series, Volume 1. I read The Woman in the Purple Skirt. I am currently reading All's Well by Mona Award. The Woman in the Purple Skirt was an audiobook and it is by Wang Pyong Song. And that was amazing. I really love that one. Um, I'm also currently reading Hold My Girl by... <laughs> I just don't know the the names of the authors. I just pick up a book and I read it. Okay, guys, let's not, let's not judge a girl, okay? The girl just picks up a book and she reads it. I'm also currently reading Hold My Girl by Charlene Carr. That's the book. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty, pretty cover. It's somewhere. I think it's in my car. Um, so I might do that. I might read. Uh, might do a little bit of skincare. Do a face mask. Maybe just do some things just to make myself feel a little bit better because I feel like crap. Okay. So I'm going to go. I'll see you guys a, a little, a little bit later. the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me babe Cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know, say Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations. Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy. heavy. I need communication. Tell me where you're yeah, I'm saying. Gas, today I'm experimenting. Gas, gas, did you hear that? You heard it. Kena raspun peta. Kena raspun peta. So yes, he's right. Today I'm experimenting with. I will listen. <laughs> Shame you wish. So ke experimentale na. Ke experimenta ka sen topes ne. Oh sorry, as topes. I can't go now. It's about the destination. <laughs> So anyway, so the experiment I got is tropez. I, I, so the only way I feel like I can't drink it like this. I really can't. I can't. So I re enjoying. I want to re enjoying. So it could be, <laughs> it could be like a Sprite, truthfully, but it could be like a, like a weak. Get juice into it. 
juice, kombucha. I wanna let you see watch. So hard tasting. I get hard tasting. <laughs> Why do they drink this? <laughs> I don't even know how to drink it. <laughs> no, it's just a cherry inside. I just want whiskey. Yeah, maybe if I had a cherry inside. Okay, all right. You ready? Hard tasting. I get. You could take it for gin, okay? <laughs> it's not in but anyway guys because I'm gonna get tasty lamb right it's just it's fine yeah I got a case get a regular day to fail and then regular the other stuff to redeem one like champagne and bell so don't be fooled by this and there's whiskey and stuff but it's fine get always I'm a guy's way to get always I'm a Eric is cover snacks in Eric you know get on a slow but now it's time for me to bond. Now it's time for me to bond. So, it's fine. So, feedback. It's fine. Oh, Papa. Okay, bye bye. Guys, it's tasty, isn't it? And now, let's see the video. Uh, and the silly diesel, diesel was on. I was like, Hey, your people are waiting for your feedback. So, that's okay. Yeah, it's sharp. Ne, I know the bubbles. I wonder if you know the bubbles could fit. But to be honest, out of 10, out of 10, I'll give it a, a refreshing so we can give it like a seven, six, six and a half, six and a half. But because naked right to non tutor so on. So no son of fella or no sprite this in an strawberry, but that's not the point. You know I'm not. The colder it is the better. So Ishapo Mara after this ni nila. But otherwise in rain. You know, in Wanglo, Nabo Savannah, Bo Ice Tropezes and Tropez, Bo Brutal Water, in Wanglo, Nabo La Laman. I understand, I understand, didn't only that thing, that zanga zang about it. But to be honest, for me, it's just like. <laughs> but, just guys, enjoying me. Um, the next thing you're probably gonna see is me dishing up, and that'll probably be the end of the, the, the vlog. Because after the trip, it'll be me dishing up for Diesel and I for supper, and then we're probably just gonna wind down for the rest of the evening. So after the day, I'll start up on the next Lena. Yeah, one kill a bone seat in my weekend. My week. Don't be so hard so, to reach. Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I got.